New hope for families with kids dealing with severe forms of epilepsy. Today, in a historic first, the FDA approved a new prescription drug to treat the condition. What makes this medication so special is that it's made from marijuana. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall spoke to doctors about the treatment and its effect on families. Consistent seizures going on, you know, multiple seizures throughout the day. Um, a lot of them you can you can see them physically. Some of them we don't see, but they're still going on in the brain. Children with Lennox Gastaut and Dravet syndromes have a bleak outlook. These types of childhood epilepsy are notoriously hard to control, and children with it are more likely to die than their peers. Those that don't die face other challenges. With those diseases, you see a lot of developmental delays and stuff like that, just because it affects the brain. Um, so harshly. And it isn't just the children who suffer. Doctors say the disorders take a toll on parents too because most treatments don't work and those that do come with side effects that can cause even more developmental delays. But thanks to a new FDA decision, there's new hope for families. We're thrilled that the FDA has today approved Epidalex for the treatment of seizures associated with Dravet syndrome and lennox gasto syndrome two very difficult to treat forms of childhood onset epilepsy. And the families that I've talked to that have been in the studies or have had a chance to use it, they say it's, it's a life, it's been a miracle. The federal agency approved the first prescription drug made from marijuana to treat the disorders. Doctors say they hope the decision leads to more medical research on marijuana, which could bring new options and brighter futures for patients and their families. We certainly hope it opens the gates for more medications to be approved through this process. We certainly hope that it solidifies the legitimacy of medical cannabis as a therapeutic option. When a family or a, and a parent knows that their, their son or daughter is getting control on their seizures, it's easier for them to you know, send, them, send them to camp or send them to school. And just, just little things like that make a huge difference. In Fargo, Veronica Commercial, Valley News Live. The medication is not capable of getting patients high. A spokesperson would not immediately announce a price for the drug, which it expects to launch in the fall. Wall Street analysts have previously predicted it could cost $25,000 per year, with annual sales eventually reaching $1 billion. But the cost for mm -hmm. parents with kids with that problem. Right. President Trump will be campaigning in Fargo on Wednesday. Up next on Valley News Live at 10, why he started a busy week of travel in South Carolina. And the view to the west from our time lapse tonight shows clouds dancing in the sunset. As we head through the work week, several chances of rain. I'll detail all of that coming up right after this. Zero interest financing on any purchase until 2021.